What if you could seamlessly blend powerful AI capabilities directly into your workflows, connecting different tools and services like never before? I'm Valentinas, head of VPS here at Hostinger, and today I'll show you how to combine the flexibility of NA10 with the standardized power of MCP on a virtual private server and take your automation game to the next level. Stick around, because this will fundamentally change how you automate tasks. Okay. So before we start setting everything up on a VPS, let's quickly break down these two key pieces of technology. So first up, what exactly is NA10? Well, think of it as your visual command center for automation. It's a fantastic tool that lets you connect different apps and services using this really intuitive node-based editor. You basically drag and drop and connect blocks to build powerful automated workflows, often without needing to write much or even any code. I've made a video talking about it a while back, so make sure to check it out for more detailed overview. You'll find the link in the description below. And for those unfamiliar with MCP, it stands for Model Context Protocol, and it's an open standard originally developed by the folks at Anthropic. The big idea here is to create a common language, a standardized way for AI agents to talk and use different software tools and APIs. It essentially provides a rulebook so AI can reliably use different software tools. Now, connecting these two tools together opens up a lot of awesome possibilities. By integrating MCP into your NA10 workflows, you unlock the ability to leverage the advanced AI capabilities with your automated processes in a structured, standardized way. So for example, imagine you want to build an intelligent customer support system. With an N810 and MCP, you could create a workflow where an AI agent analyzes the incoming support tickets, automatically resolves common issues using predefined N810 steps, and intelligently routes complex problems to the right human team members. And if you need to interact with the specific services, you could set up an N810 workflow where an AI agent uses MCP to check your Google Calendar, search for web using Brave Search, or even look up listings or Airbnb, all triggered from a simple prompt. NA10 even allows you to create your own MCP servers, combining available tools on an NA10 with your AI desktop applications like Claudi or Cursor, supercharging their capabilities. Essentially, combining NA10's visual workflow building with MCPs allows you to create incredibly powerful, flexible, and intelligent automations. So enough talking about it. Let me show you how you can easily set it all up on hosting your VPS. Okay, so now that we have an A10 instance running, we log into our N8 instance, and we will start by creating our own MCP server. For that, let's create a new workflow and select the new trigger. The trigger should be MCP server trigger. After that, we are ready to hook tools to it. In this tutorial, I will be hooking up my Google Calendar. Let's select a Google Calendar tool. I have already set it up my credentials. Let's select resource event and let's allow our MCP server to get the events from my calendar. And let's give the AI possibility to decide which event ID to get. And there it is, our own MCP server capable of doing this one simple action. What now we need is for some MCP client to use this MCP server. In order to use this MCP server, we need a MCP URL. You can get it in this field. Let's copy it. And also do not forget to put this workflow to active state. For the MCP client, I will be using Cloud Desktop App. What we need to do is head down to Cloud Settings, go to the developer and press Edit Configuration. We then find the Cloud Desktop Config JSON file and edit it and paste this code into the file. You should replace this link with a link from your N810 instance. After that, let's just save this file and restart the Cloud app. After restarting the Cloud app, we can already see the MCP tool available. This is our Google Calendar tool we created previously. So what will happen now if I ask, do I have any events for today? Okay, it now asks me for permission to use this tool. Let's allow for this chat and wait for the response. Okay, it looks like I have one event today filming N810 video. I'm doing it right now. In N810, you can also create an AI agent and allow it to use the MCP tools. Let's create a new workflow. So we will need a chat trigger. To that chat trigger, we will hook AI agent. 
we will be selecting the open AI chat model for this. Let's add simple memory and let's hook up MCP client tool for SEC endpoint. Let's use our previously copied URL. We don't have any authentication set up, so only URL is needed. Let's give it a try. Let's open the chat window and ask about my last email. You can see AI agent calling MCP client to retrieve my last email. And the best part is that hooking up MCP client once through this SSE endpoint, you can attach as much functions as you like in your MCP server, and it will even grow bigger, bigger, making your AI smarter and smarter. If you're looking to host your N810 instance, Hostinger offers reliable VPS solutions that are perfect for this kind of setup. Click the link in the description to see our VPS hosting plans and use the code N810 during the checkout for extra 10% off your purchase. And there you have it. You have successfully set up N810 with an MCP server on your hosting your VPS, creating a workflow that taps into the powerful AI tool interaction. What workflows are you planning to build with N810 and MCP? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Hosting Your Academy for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, good luck with your automations, and I'll see you in the next one.